Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a custom Mandalorian helmet. So about a week ago, I was watching one of my favorite uh, morning sports shows, which is off the bench in Baton Rouge. And on their desk, they had a LSU themed Mandalorian helmet. I thought to myself, I'd really like one of those. If you're wondering what this weird little thing I'm doing with the knife is, I'm basically just running the knife over the layer lines. So you get a good idea of how they sound and that they're actually there. So after applying a couple layers of primer, I decided to go over the entire helmet with a little bit of Bondo. And, you know, to be perfectly honest, I kind of wish I hadn't done this because I just feel like it added more work than I really needed to do. My normal routine of just sanding, priming, sanding, priming, and on and on would have been more than enough to get this helmet smooth before I applied the paint. I laid down this first layer of silver paint because I was thinking I was going to go back and apply kind of a weathering effect by masking off certain areas of the silver, but I actually ended up just going back and using a silver Sharpie, which you'll see at the end of the video. Now for this part, I feel like this is the most satisfying part of the entire video or the entire process. So I'm just going to kind of be quiet and let y'all enjoy this part. intentions of leaving those cheeks black i was either going to do a white or a darker yellow but after i pulled off all that masking tape and i saw how it looked i just really liked it i thought it kind of broke it up or gave it some dimension so i elected to keep it
just a quick look of the silver sharpie I mentioned earlier in the video just to add some weathering and some scraping it looks like it's getting underneath that uh silver base coat Now I'm gonna apply a wash. Uh, I just mixed a little bit of black and brown and then I actually did mix a little bit of yellow later, but you're gonna see me cut the video here because I kinda started freaking out. I've never done it to this extent. Uh, I've never done it to where I wanted the prop to look this weathered or you know grimy either, but kinda went overboard. I should've watered it down more so you're gonna see me get up and cut the video here pretty shortly I did end up figuring it out though, and I like the end uh, result. I feel like it looks dirty, it looks grimy, but not overly dirty, kind of like the back is. And the last part of the build is attaching the visor. This was really just a lot of measuring and cutting and measuring and cutting and just trying to get to the perfect shape uh, for the end result.